we have the monster fall. Cool, cool, cool. And there's a monster attack. Kaka. Cool. Let's go with this one first. This feels a bit fast. And it's it's mainly because of the, the stepped mode. I just be once we spline this out, re as it a royal we <laughs> you're doing it, but there's just something about the arm going back with the leg at the same time. So I will probably keep this here, go back with that arm first, that it pulls the the upper body and shoulder with it, then the head reacts, and then you can come back with the leg. And it's good to see all the different you know, areas. That's a good silhouette. This one I'll probably bring that arm a bit lower. It just kind of depends what your emphasis is going to be in terms of how do you want to present it. Because even this feels a bit too covered over there. This I will probably bring that tail a bit lower. Show some fingers here. And probably have to adjust Leave some negative space in there. Maybe even this coming up a bit. Get a bit of a, a line like that. Little things here and there, but once you spline this, you know, like avoiding tangents here on certain frames. But I think as a general thing, if we can delay that and give this enough time to hold here so that you can then drive this again. It's basically, it just feels light because it's supposed to pose. And I think if we have, like I said, the delay in that, go back and then on this, you might even drive it through this imagine that the shoulder upper arm area here is the driver and then that arm comes in boom for a big snap probably have on this view I'll bring that elbow a bit lower so we understand that structure a bit better so it doesn't feel like a short arm but then you have to imagine if it's such a big turn going this way and so high i would have a moment where that creature might even be up in the air a little bit and off balance. That makes sense. Because there's so much movement in this. I feel like that momentum will have it go up and then it can land. But then again, you have such a turn and twist, which is nice technically. But we never go beyond that line. That's why I will go slightly off balance because of all of this. But then, then as you come down, it would come down where the body would be over this way. And then come back into that. And right now, there's a feeling of such a big move that kind of stops after this. Where we just kind of come down. We're just continuing like this. And then after that, we're immediately going into this big move. And again, this will be, needs more breakdowns than in the display. And you see how, what leads this action? Is it going to be... This area, shoulder, and into the elbow, where we might have an, a bigger drag potentially in the head, even here, and then follow through with that vroom, with that move. So for me, it's just pushing the weight just a bit more. There's a little hint of a pause, which is good on that one. To me, it's just pushing then that pose a bit over more. And even this will then be so as you go back into this going up again, we're stuck in here versus whoa, let's go back, back, back. Like you want to have that line of action because you're already like this and then you bring it back and you go, all right, let's go and do this. But then we're stuck in this line versus even you can see this even here. Versus maybe that tail not so high to give that upper body more room to go back with those arms and the head is here. Ah! And really pushing that line of action. And then it's kind of everything goes forward here. So you might potentially leave with that chest more and let that, that head drag a bit more. So all of this shoulders up and then boom. It's like imagine you're, you're leading with this area. Maybe up until here, but then there's this moment where that part will slow down a bit and then those arms will then overtake and go ba-ba! And then after that, after that impact, I see some change in stretching. But imagine that after this, that last from here to here, ba-boom! It's going to be so strong that 
These will obviously stop because of the ground, but then the head and chest can continue to go down a bit and then come back up into up and down to what you have here. It feels like, and then that's it. Like this, this is a, a bit of a weird, so much force, turn, twist, everything, and then it's like, oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, oh what did I do? <laughs> that for me is a bit of a break there. We're like, what's, what happened here? Did it, are the fingers hurting? Is all of this hurting? What's going on with the creature here? That to me suddenly is a bit of a, a, a weird break. I don't say a style break, but it's almost like a, an energy intensity break of what's going on here. Then up into, ah, but then be careful that I will push that higher to be more asymmetrical. It's a bit too twinned in the posing and all of this. And even here, just going back again, more breakdowns and spline will help us offset things. But right now, it just all feels, they feel very parented. Just all kind of move the same there, those arms. So I will go into, you know, like one goes up more than the other. And again, that pushes into asymmetry. And then recovers into that. This feels almost a bit off balance. I'll probably bring that leg back a bit more. You can see this here. Just a bit. Just a bit. I know he's very fraught heavy and all that. It wouldn't fall backwards. But I would still give this leg a bit of a backwards pose there. In my awesome drawing. <laughs> then this one. Again, breakdowns and everything. But if that's such a sharp bow back. Like what is... If something is it's being hit here i'll probably drag that hand a bit more and then it follows through and does the whole move back this feels like there's too much moving at once through there so like in your head i would i would pinpoint like what makes this go back this is a projectile something are specifics this is a shock wave and we want to see that even if you don't see the shock wave if you don't see the impact the projectile maybe on the shoulder we want to feel that in, in the breaking of the body parts of what gets dragged behind and all that. This is not too bad. I like here when you go back. I'll probably swing this arm further here. Because we're going back with all of this. And it feels like we're almost starting an arc in here. And then we're locked in this for a bit long. Where I will go on that pose further out. And then it can be a, maybe a bit more out. And then it can lead into that drag there here definitely i like how it's there's a lot more drag and twisting here then it gets a bit too post to pose not post to pose but um just too symmetrical i was liking up until here and then to me then it's only oh they both go up boy they're kind of at the same height pretty much and they kind of land everything kind of lands there's an inkling of offset but then on that pose just the way it's stepped now it feels very similar. And then it's almost like the fingers are a bit too loose and doing their thing there. So to me, it would be... Oh, and then... Oh, now continue, continue what you have here. You're starting to drag here. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, no, it only stops and twists again. So to me, I would have something where like this side would now land first. So on this... What's the twist here? Well, I don't know, maybe... I can see this going the way you have it, and then it stays put and it lands on this side. So, hold on, that's me moving my frame. If you do this, actually landing on this, I can also see going twist, twist back during that, where we end up really favoring this. But then I would just, either way, and both can work, but either way, I would really favor a side strongly, and then you have a bigger one to drop. Versus this feels a bit too clean and flat. Let's watch this again. And even something where it's like, oh, falling and maybe this foot can slip first. So it doesn't stay locked there till the very end. Like here it starts to go like, oh, okay, we're really holding this pose there. I would already flip that foot up and then pow, pow, and this could already be higher. And that way you have a bit of a stronger silhouette offset and, and how things fall. Just a, a bigger complexity towards the end. Subjectively, of course. And that's that. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.